I have listened carefully to the tape three times. Three times. The one that was played when Chief Bugrinabu appeared before you. And then the two times the tape were played, the tape was played. I listened carefully to, to it. Bugri Nahabu didn't say that when he called me, I threatened him. What he did state was that when he called, I just hung up the phone. And then later on, his son, maybe you can play it again, you'll hear this one. His son came to tell him, that he said, my son came to tell him that I have threatened that he will see. That's trying to suggest that I, I threatened him through his son, Prophet Emmanuel Tei Bugrinabu, but not him directly. That was not what he said, Honorable Chair. But did you have any discussion with Prophet Buri Nabu after the audio had leaked? Of course, yes, Honorable Chair. What did you tell Prophet Buri Nabu after the tape had leaked? It could be either I called him or he called me, asking me about what has happened. And then he started initially, he knew or he thought, let me choose my words carefully, he thought it was his father that leaked the tape, that recorded us and leaked the tape. So when he called, he condemned his father for that singular act of his, that you invite people to your office, you record them, and then put it out into the public, public domain. But later, upon further inquiries, remember I'm a policeman, for investigations I'm very smart, but that side, when, I, when we meet in camera, you will know who did the recording, who was sent, by who, and on what promise, to who. You will get it when we meet in camera. And you will see that this inquiry that has been set up, it will either be a, a causing financial loss to the state by somebody. Yes, my good brother. Why, why were you trying to tell the committee that you were a good investigator? I thought I'm, I thought, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apologies. Yes, because you can't set your own exams, and then when you finish marking, you want to give yourself a grade. Yeah. Well, I'm only poking fun, but. Okay, let my sister finish. Then you, yeah, you conclude. Yeah, yeah, oh, carry on. Oh, go ahead. Superintendent, Chief Bugri Nabu informed this committee that wasn't the full tape. You are also alluding to the fact that the tape is doctored. Why do you think somebody would dock that tape? And if so, who do you think would have done this? Honorable Chair, these are some of the matters that I've promised the committee that I want to do it in camera because it concerns national, national security. It's a serious matter. I want to do it in camera. My last question. Let me take you to page 76 of the transcript. 
I think our last sitting. Mr. Mason said, Mr. Chairman, my intel suggests that what was used to tape the conversation was done by the current IGP. He sent some people to do it after which he went for it. So the tape from the in the tape from my intel is with the IGP. And he caused and he caused it to be leaked. So if this committee wants the tape, the right person to call blah blah is the IGP. And then I want to know, why do you think Commissioner Mensah will make such a statement? Honorable Chair, with your indulgence, I also have the same intel. That so I, also, I also have the same intel that <laughs> yes, I should mention his name. I also have the same intel that <laughs> that the IGP agreed with Bugri Nabu after Bugri Nabu had gone to inform the IGP that somebody wants your post, so he has come to me. To the extent that the CV that was collected from commissioner and sent to Bugri Nabu by those boys, two, they are two. They are prepared to come here and testify. They are two. They collected it, sent it to Bugri Nabu. Bugri Nabu gave the CV, the CV that was intended for the appointing authority. He gave it to the IGP. Good chairman. Uh, 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 that I, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would be happy that I say more when I'm, I'm in, in camera because it is not a healthy development at all. Chairman, including the two boys, the said two boys. Two boys. If you could remember, when Alaji called me, he knows my name, Amasari, but God works under mysterious circumstances. I don't know what moved Bugri Nabu into calling me Asante. And this Asante, per our intel, is a corporal or sergeant that has been promoted to go to police college to become an ASP. And this same ASP, it was Mr. Commissioner George Alex Mensa that made him go to the peacekeeping mission. Master, let me say this in camera. I don't know whether I should put my last question because of uh, you know, the answer you just gave, but let me just play the devil's advocate. Uh, if someone says that day you were late because you knew that conversation or that meeting was going to be recorded, what would be your answer to that person? Uh, the, the, the person, maybe, he was joking, it's not true. How can, how can that be? How can, how, how can I in, uh, record myself and put it out in the public domain? I can't do that. Chairman, thank you. I think I'll... I'm grateful to you, Honorable Member. Now, let's go to... Um, the vice chairman who whispered to me privately yeah. that he will not write an encyclopedia. No, no, no. Yes. Chairman, I, I don't have too many questions to ask mm. because um, Superintendent um, Asari has given indication that he would um, um, want to speak to certain important matters in camera. Mm. Most of my questions would have elicited from him uh, answers, or he has already mm. indicated he would want to respond to in camera. So I would oblige him that, but just to seek clarification on a few issues, and then um, I, I yield to you, Chairman. Okay. Yes. Uh, Super Superintendent Asari. Mr. Chair. Let me take you straight to page 22, where 
you spoke Chui and described someone as area mama. Say we name area mama. That's a coded name. You want to start the page again? So page 23. 23. Yes, of exhibit one. The first paragraph. You described someone as area mama. Say we name area mama. Uh, I mean, area mama is uh, a coded name. Who is Area Mama? Honorable Chair, that's the name you all know. You don't know the real name of Area Mama? Not at all, Honorable Chair. Okay. But, but where does she work? Uh, to be honest, where she works, I cannot tell. But what I know is that she lives in Weja area. And uh, she's an assembly woman, whatever. That's what I know. Now, you made a very emphatic statement in one of your um, answers to either Peter or Eric, Honorable Peter or Eric, that before you sign off, you you tell you 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 say something before this committee. What's that? Uh, and the entire proceedings, yes. yes, has come to an end, both in camera and public hearing. Okay, so you intend that the sign off here should happen in camera. No, 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 no. What, what the, the, the statement you would make when you are signing off? Signing of yes. yes, that that when when we are done, when the whole proceedings has come to, you know, an end. That I'm talking about my, my appearance before you today. No, today and in camera. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. mm. Superintendent Asari, you earlier stated that you were not going to, in fact, you expressed regret for um, making the statement to the fact that they did to you does not tell the president what is going on. You, you express regret for that. Now, let me take you to page 23, where the same video to you featured in a comment you made. The dear to you and the man are like this. Dampari. What, 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 what? When you say the dear to you and the man are like this, Dampari, you want to explain what that means? Page 23. Honorable Chair, if you could remember, I want to cast your mind back that the, the tape itself is not correct. Because what is written here, it doesn't even make sense to me. Senior, senior, don't say that. Don't say that the tape itself is not correct. Sorry, sorry, In sorry for a want part, for a better word. Yes, part of the tape, mm -hmm. from your perspective, mm -hmm. is not correct. You get the point. Because you said there's been edited and you have also admitted your voice. Yeah. That, that, you, are, you are right, Honorable Chair. But... But in my answer to uh, 
Deputy Chair's question. Uh, the statement is even incomplete. The st statement is incomplete. So it will be difficult for me to make meaning out of it. You know, in a, in a conversation, so many things happen. You can even make a statement, something will uh, come in and you will even forget what you intended to say. So sorry for that. I, I can't tell exactly what I meant to say. As per what is contained here. But um, Superintendent Asari, you, 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 you keep saying that the um, tape was doctored. Would you be kind enough to indicate which part of the tape you believe is doctored for the purposes of the committee? Because you know one of our tasks is to authenticate the audio. So if there are aspects that we believe are adopted, you need to point out so that we take note. Yeah. Regarding this exercise, hold on, hold on, sir. Regarding the exercise of uh, pinpointing which aspects of the tape are doctored and which are not, we need to go and do it and then submit it to us. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to take us yeah, yeah. a very long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So take your time. You have the benefit of lawyers. Mm -hmm. And then you mark from your perspective where you think it's not valid and where you think, I mean, it's very valid, valid and correct. So that when we bring you back, which certainly we are going to bring you back, you, you, you give it to us. So for now, I do not believe that this is a very good time mm -hmm. to go through this laborious exercise. And I'm not going to adjourn mm -hmm. like we did before mm -hmm. for you to do the comparison. So first of all, you have the benefit of the audio and you have the benefit of the verbatim reporting and we'll give you space outside, I mean, the proceedings and take your time and do it. And when we next call you, 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 you bring it to us. You will tender it. Is that okay with you? No, no, no. Uh, Honorable Chair. Yes. Uh, I agree that initially I told you the voice in the, in the tape is mine. But there has been some cuts and pieces put together, what you are going to but do. It, will be, it will be difficult. It was a conversation, just conversation that we had. No, it won't be For, difficult. Especially this one, this particular one. Senior, it is an incomplete statement. Please, wait. Take your time, you see. I'm saying that because of challenges of, <coughs> sorry, memory, we'll give you the space. Take the audio, take the verbatim, um, I mean, um, uh, reporting the transcript that you have here and do a just a position you you know and then mark it for our, our benefit that's yeah. all yeah. you have the benefit of two lawyers to help you Mr. Chair no it's been Sam my brother you too yeah. Yeah. Yes. Robert Chair I think at the last date when COP was given the same opportunity. We joined his legal team to do that piece of exercise. And uh, I think it's just one area that he complained of. And uh, I'm of the view that if he be given the opportunity, he would be able to explain that particular portion to the chair so that we don't waste. Yes, yes. something you see um, the last time we did uh, the just a position it was done I know that they, 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 they you asked for permission to join them and when you return when we resume from break 
it was COP Alex Mensah who gave indication as to which portions of the um, transcript and the audio did not match. Mm. So it was his markings mm. that this committee took note of and duly admitted mm. the exhibit and labeled same as exhibit one. Mm. You see? So my question is, do you also, council, I need your attention here. Do you also want to go along with the indication COP Alex Mensa gave this committee with regards to the portions he marked as not matching well with the audio? Honorable mm. Chair, what the witness is saying is that there's just one portion of the transcript that he has issues with. And that is what he intends to draw the committee's attention to. But do you identify with um, the, the extensions that were made by Commissioner of Police Mensa? You said, you said when it was not your turn, you took advantage of the we know win, if you like. And and you, you were you were part of it together with the lawyers. So would you want to identify with exhibit one which COP Mensa was so clear in his mind that he has validated some and some he doesn't agree? Do you want to do that? And then comment on that small bit of exhibit one. Is that what you want to do? Honorable Chair, he, most of the areas that COP identified mm. were times that he was not present mm. during the meeting. So he wouldn't be able to uh, uh, talk about those areas. Yeah, so so you, will not be you will not be able to identify with what COP Mensa that agreed. Is so. That is so. But in respect of exhibit one, there is an area which you want to comment upon. That is so. Okay, how long are you going to make this commentary? Well, which I think it will be very brief, maybe. All right. I... So, so let's listen to you. Show us what page do you have in mind? I believe page 24. Page 24. After I think the first one is, hmm, the analogy says he will come back before June. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. According to the witness, the meeting was held on the 19th of June. And for Alaji to indicate here, that someone was coming back before June, it presupposes that this area meant that the meeting was held before June. This portion, as captured in the transcript, suggests that it was in relation to a different meeting apart from the one that he confirms he had with Alaji and COP Mensa. So this portion, it hasn't validated. Is that so? That is so. stated that you were once commander, district commander of East Ligon at the time the Ayawasu West Wagon by-election 
was conducted. Now, after serving as commander of that particular district, where were you posted to? Honorable Chair from East Ligon, I was posted to Achimota Ma 7 district. As commander? That's correct, Honorable Chair. And from my, how long did you, you know, spend? at my seven as commander. Honorable Chair, it will be difficult to give the correct date or period. But, roughly but, two uh, years, one year? Yeah, roughly one year, let me put it that way, okay. roughly. Right, so was it from my seven, you now, proceeded to the headquarters? That's correct, on our chair. You are with the protocol outfit at the headquarters, is that correct? That's correct, on our chair. Do you have problems with that? On our, no, far from that. I don't have problem. I don't have authority over transfers. So you're happy as a protocol officer within the police service? Uh, happy as in, in terms of what? Job. My job. Honorable Chair, that's correct. I'm happy. I'm working. Some people don't have a job, and I'm working. They've sent me to a place. Why not? I'm happy. I, I okay. would yield. Very Thank good. Thank you. I don't belong at all. Sorry. Honorable Chair. Was it the case that at the time you recommended to uh, Chief Bugri Nabu that Commissioner um, Mensah um, is an IGP material? Was he on um, terminal leave? As at the time, that is correct. That is correct. So why did you want to recommend to um, Chief Bugri Nabu that a man who was almost finished should become the IGP? Uh, Honorable Chair, for me, it is not strange because we've had IGPs who are on contact basis. And the, the, that one, that was why I said the appointment of the IGP, it didn't say that you have to be an active uh, or a serving member or somebody who is retired. Because per what the constitution says, the president in consultation with the council of state shall appoint the inspector general of police. But it didn't specify whether you should be on retirement or you should be in active service. Uh, it seems to me you have a historical record of your profession. Do you know of any IGPs who had retired and were brought, up, brought back on contract to become IGPs? Or police officers who were retired, I'm sorry, not IGPs? Uh, Mr. Chair, I don't know of any IGP who was on retirement. I corrected myself. Any uh, retired a um, senior police officer who was then brought back on contract to become an IGP. I don't have anyone in mind. Fine. Now, you remember you saw on oath? You remember? Yes, Honorable Chair. And you understand the full implications of perjury? That's correct, Honorable Chair. Very good. 
Now, let me find out from you. Did you ever appear before the National Investigations Bureau in relation to this same matter? Honorable Chair, that is correct. Mm. Can I continue, Honorable Chair? You can. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Yes, uh, after the leakage of the I call is so-called tape, leak tape, um, I was invited by the National Investigations Bureau, and I went. So when I went there, they interrogated me on this same tape as regards who did the recording, number one. Number two, who leaked it? I told them my side of the story that I don't know anything about it. And there, an ASP at the police office, at the, at the police headquarters, PID unit, by name ASP Kenneth Asantien, the BNI officers asked me, what is the relationship between the two of us? And I told him, I don't even know, I'm hearing the name for the first time. It was later on that I saw the guy, and I said, oh, was it not this guy that was in Accra region or the room? I don't know him. I don't know him. But um, commissioner also got there, I went there. But per what I gathered from there, Bugri, after the leakage, Bugri Nabu's special assistant by name SK was picked up in that morning by the NIB officers. And then the secretary was also picked up. And eventually, Bugri, Chief Bugri Nabu was also invited to the place. These people, per my reliable information, apart from Alaji Bugri Nabu, who went there and lied as usual. And I, oh, I, he has lied on several okay, I have, I have a large book in on tape. Everything he came to say here on video in his office, the same office. His relationship with IGP and contracts, 40, 44, 40,000 boots, contracts. My brother, my brother, but you were very good and said you speak in camera. Have you forgotten yourself? I, uh, uh, yes. Ask your very simple question. Chair, sorry. When Honourable you chair, appear sorry. before the Honourable NIB. Chair, sorry. Okay. Honourable Chair, I'm, I'm All right. I'm sorry. On this note, on this note, I think it is very opportune um, that a lot of things will happen in camera. And in good time, we'll, we'll call you. And all those who matter to do the business in camera. And if I have the permission of members, I want to release a, I mean, a witness. And then we will have an in-house meeting. And then later on, <coughs> we inform the general public and the press our next agenda. So, Superintendent, so um, this is a private one, but I'm saying it public. Do you intend doing your master's or something whilst you are in the police service? Maybe you want to. I mean, expand the boundaries of your knowledge for promotion and the rest of it. Is that so, Honorable Chair? Okay, then please. When when you apply, let me know so that I'll give you assistance. Mm, you need to climb up, you know. Thank you so much, Honorable. Chair. Right now, what I'm seeing is that in in the professions, the first degree is not enough. So please push hard. And and see how you become very relevant for tomorrow. On this friendly note, you are released, but not discharged. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh, sure, I'm grateful. Yes.